In this video, we're going to talk about why you shouldn't hug the baseline when you're playing tennis. So first of all, let's clarify what hugging the baseline means. What we mean by that is that you're trying to stay as close to the baseline as possible all the time to take away time from your opponent and put them under more pressure with your shots. So first of all, if you're just hearing that, it sounds like that's a good idea because your opponent has less time to you know, react to your balls, has less time to move to the balls that you hit, and it must be much easier for you to hit winners. The problem is that in tennis, especially as you get better, most people aim to play the ball deep. So if you're playing against better level players, more balls will end up bouncing within three feet of the baseline. Every time when you're positioned right behind the baseline and the ball bounces that close to the baseline, you will notice that you can't really accelerate the ball. You're either backing up while you hit or you're staying low and trying to block it. Now, both of those things obviously still work. You can put the ball in, but you can't really put your opponent under pressure with those shots unless it's a very high-paced uh, rally and you're very good at blocking and redirecting the ball. But again, that's for a very high-level player. For most other people, this is going to be a defensive shot. So that means your opponent will actually take advantage of the situation and be able to attack, come in, and finish off the point if they're doing good. So now what should we do instead of staying right at the baseline? We should be backing up much further and we should be moving forward whenever we can. You probably heard about you know, moving your weight through the ball, transferring your weight through the ball, as well as take a step forward before you hit. If you're on the baseline and people hit deep shots, that's impossible. But if you're further back and you move well, most of the time you'll be able to still move forward towards the ball because you have extra time. Now, if the ball ends up bouncing right on the baseline, you see that it's going deep, you can back up even more right away, and you can still take a step forward as you hit. So, staying further back enables you to actually attack more balls and have more time in the process, which means you're going to hit a higher quality shot and you're not going to be pushed in the defense as often. Now, that doesn't mean that you don't want to hit balls when you're around the baseline. It just means that if the ball is short, you're moving into the court, you're following the ball if you have that extra time. If a ball is deep, you're ready to move forward through the ball as well because you're so far back that you can take a comfortable step forward, maybe even take the ball on the rise if you're good enough and feel great about your shots. So in conclusion, you should actually be much further behind the baseline, maybe nine feet or so, so you give yourself enough space and time to react and able, uh, be able to still move forward towards the ball. If a ball ends up very deep, you see it early, you back up even more, you can take a step forward no matter if you're using open or closed stance, and you'll be able to attack those balls as well. Do not get caught trying to stay here no matter what, because your opponent will try to hit deep shots, and the better they get, the more often they will actually succeed in doing so, and you don't want to get caught having to hit while you're moving back, or just blocking the ball and giving them an easy shot to finish off the point. In this first example, Kata staying right behind the baseline. You can see when she moves forward, it's all good. But when the ball gets deep, it gets difficult for her and she has to back up on this last one and can really only defend. And on the second example, she's further back. She has time to move forward every single time because she recovers far behind the baseline and she has a much easier time dealing with deeper shots. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you guys soon.